It's being described here. Especially this shows how the Sarvaka chanting her name is Namabhajan slowly, slowly. Then going to the stage of Srada, Srasanga, Bhajana Kriya, Anatani Vriti, Nistaruchi. At this moment, what is the stage of the Sarvaka? How the Sarvaka? Sarvaka prays to Lord in this moment. I have been listening about this. The Sadaka of Vaidya Marga for the rules and relations. And in the end, the Sadaka attains Vaikuntha. The Sadaka of Raga Marga has this icon. I can't take Nishta, one pointed Nishta, and he had in Ruchi, and after Nushpiruchi, he enters Ashakti. Because the Sarakas of Vidhi Marga, they go step by step. But the devotees of Raga Marga, they touch all the steps, but very quickly. Just like, it's like a horse. It's galloping horse. And it's similar to the Asadak of Raghavakti. It follows all the rules, but galloping like a horse very quickly, jumping. So if you want to go to, if you, if you want to go to the roof of a 10 storage building, there are two ways to do that. You can go by the stairs, and then you step by step you go up. <coughs> Second way of going up is taking the lift, the elevator. So just go inside, press the button. In 10 seconds you reach the roof of the building. <coughs> but if you go by elevator, also actually you are touching all the floors. It's not like you're jumping and not touching, not passing through all the floors. You're passing it very quickly. In the same way, the Sadaka of Raga Marga, the Sadaka which is going to Raga Marga, what is he doing? He follows the rules. So, after listening about the sweet modes of the Vrajavasis, and he's eager to attain that also. Too much eager to attain that. And then. But in his Sadaka, sadaka body, he's following all the rules. In the Sadaka body, he's following all the rules. But inside his heart, in the deep of his heart, he is eager to get this Prema Madura of the Vrajavasis. 
Nenom spíšali ty hier, šla vyšlo škávať tak, ktorá im debuko ragavárt mať čandrika hi šou zas. Raga bhakti je skôl loba bhakti, loba mají bhakti. Loba means breed. Yeah. 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 Ragamarga should understand his Braja Ragamarga. He means after listening the modes of Vrindavan, about the modes of Vrindavan, you feel some eagerness in your heart. Loba, greed. Some people cannot get even in the millions of births. Some people can get in millions of birth, but if you have the association of a pure devotee, and if you listen to Harikata from the, his lotus mouth, so this love, this agreed will come in your heart. So with this price, with this payment of your agreed, you have to buy that. With your agreed, you buy that. Yeah, buy. You remember the shlok? Krishna Bhakti Rastava. You have to buy. The price is your greed. Some people cannot get even if you are so greedy for many, many lives. See. Even if you pay with your greed, means if you pay the price of your greed, very easily you can get that. Just like a, like very, very quickly you can get that. Just like a clap of finger. So if you have the association of this Rasika devotees, you can get that. Because if you listen to Sarikata very sweet of Radha Govinda, then you can get it. That's why Shman Bhavata Shkadeva Vasudh Maharaj taught Parikshit Maharaj. Shkadeva Vasudh told Parikshit Maharaj, Hey Maharaj, I told you so many Tata Siddhantas. I also told the stories of many, many kings. How many charitable kings were there? Charitable, like Sivi Maharaj, pardon, like Sivi Maharaj, and also the other one, the what's his name? Harish Chandra. Harish Chandra also. So Shukadev Goswami told all these capacity stories, but what is the special spirituality in these stories? So it's a little bit of some spiritual kata, spirituality. There are people in this world that they give charity. Give a donation to the poor people. This is true. This is also this is also very much uh, praiseable. But if you can, but if you really go to spiritual, if you compare. So this, for example, this uh, distribution of food, distribution of cloth. In the Shasta, explains about the glory of donation, giving donation of food, donation of cloth. The 
top most donation is donation of Bhagavad Kata. That's why they go to say Tava Kata Maritam. The donation, the topmost, if it is the donation of Bhagavad Kata, which is like a nectar, if somebody makes you drink this nectar, this is the topmost donation. Sashkadev Goswami Pada says, Hey Maharaj, after seven days, you'll give up your body. So I'll give you the last instruction what you must do. Listen. Listen to this next uh, best times of Lord. Again, Vairagya and Tapasya. Through these things, we cannot attain to Lord. If you to attain to Lord, there's a very simple way. If you listen to the Kata of Lord, and listen to the Siddhanta, I have to remember the Lila Katas and fix your mind, your meditation in Lotus Feet of Lord. Why to all this Kata so that your mind will not go here and there? Tato Kata. Tato Kata. Yeah, okay. So why do we speak the Tato Kata? So that your mind will not under in here and there. We have to be established in the Tato Sadam so that our mind will not go here and there. Because the Bada Jiva's arses are like this. But if you're established in the Tato Sadam, then you will not go to another place. Hmm? Who said? If you establish in Tata Siddhanta, ah, okay. Okay, if you listen to the Siddhanta, you'll be fixed. For example, if other people say you tell you other things, you said, okay, okay, but actually not follow. You only follow the bhakti because you're establishing the Tathasiddhanta. So, so now remember just to fix your mind in Radhan Govinda, Shukadeva Goswami to Parajit Maharaj. Because this is the goal, isn't it? To remembering Radhan Krishna. After remembering Govinda Kata, you give up your body like this. Then you are saying to Lord. But the verse in the Gita he says, in the time of the death, if someone remembers me and remember, remembers my Lila Kata and gives up the body in this moment, this person, he will attain to. That's why. Shri Goswami says, "Hey Maharaj, you go for meditation. Concentrate your mind. In what? In this nectarian lila katas of God. That's why he said like this: lila kata nisevana." Srinivadana Hasya also, Shla Bhakti Vinod Thakur is explaining. If someone 
Quando só entra madureiras. Sempre se fala trigo rose. What? First one. divine love. Unquenchable thirst? This unquenchable thirst for the love of Shmatradka. Is that Sid Prama Divina? Prama Mai Trishna. It's like the thirst for love. When you're having so much thirst, do you want? You want water. But there are many kinds of water. But which water you want to drink? Pure water. Without any kind of mixed ingredients, mixed substance, like pure. Hmm? Yeah. So, all day you did Nijala, for example. But it's too much sun, too much sun. Too much austerity. Then after the after Nishina Deva. After sunset. Okay, Nishina Chato this is not right. So after sunset, after the worship of Nishina Deva. It's so much hot during the whole day that time. And you're doing your job the whole day. Which water are you going to drink at night time? You're going to drink pure water without nothing mixed. You want to drink a pure water after sunset. But if somebody gives you another thing, not water, like if somebody gives you rasgula, some sweet, or some laddu kachori, what do you think? He said, no, 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 no. First, I want to drink pure water. Let's have one pointed nut rather niche them. And to live in Vrindavan. But they are the best places of Shmataradika to live in this place. It is my prayer. This was second, okay, to live in the best place of Shmataradika in Vrindavan. And then, third, third rule have to have association of Rajarasik devotees. Listen from the Lotus Love about the sweet best times of Radha and Krishna. So we had the association of the Rasik Jan, Rasik devotees. 
It's just like you want to see the full moon without being in the Purnima day. That is the meaning. Without taking shot of lotus feet of Shunataratka, you cannot get the Purna Chandra like the full moon Krishna. Full moon Govinda cannot get. That's why I have to take shot of lotus feet of Shunataratka. Follow this trail. Have to have one point in Eastern Shumatrat, I can't finish the second. Stay in Vrindavan, but where to stay there? Where? The, where are the sweet best and places of Radha and Krishna? It's not possible for body, and then for mind. You have to live in these places. So for example, say Bakunjani Duban, Ikunjavan. Tangali, Mangali, Punjagali, Vilaskali, Giriraj Govardhan. So, Rasasthali, Varshana, Tirkadamba, Jambat Kokilavan. All these are best and places of Radha Mahadam. So, example given. If you want to see the full moon, you want to see the full moon. When can you see the full moon? When? In the Purnima day. It's called Raka Chandra. It's the day of the full moon. Raka means red. Raka Chandra. <laughs> Raka Chandra means everybody is having the Dachshan of the Purnima in the day of Purnima. Raka Chandra means in Chaturdasi Purnima and Pratipat. He's saying when the moon manifests completely in the Chaturdasi, Purnima, and the Pratipat. These three days means one day before full moon and one day after full moon. Chaturdasi, Purnima, and Pratipat. The last 10 minutes of Chaturdasi. Then in the day of Purnima, full moon, as you can see. In the Pratipada, the next day. For 10 minutes also of Pratipada. So this Purnima is called Raka Purnima or Raka Chandra. The Purnima Titi, the day of full, you can have the Darsha, but this not happens in all the Purnimas. In Purnima, the full is the moon. The moon is full, but some part also she's full in Chaturdashi. In Purnima, whole day she's full in the moon. In the Pratipad, also some part is mixed. So this kind of moon, or this kind of Purnima Titi, is called Raka Purnima. <coughs> So Raka Purnima is this kind of Purnima, which is, I'm sorry, the Rasa of Krishna, 
वो हैपनिंग द राखा पूर्णिमा राखा पूर्णिमा दे मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ रास ऑफ कृष्णा नित्य रास इन सेवा कुंजा हैपन दिस नित नित्य रास सारा दिया रास ऑफ इन द ऑटम सीजन रास द अनदर बसंतिक रास दैट हैपेंस इन स्प्रिंग सीजन हाई मंथिक रास हैपेंस इन द ड्यूरिंग सीजन हाई मंथिक रास आफ्टर कार्तिक सासों दो वाले हाई मंथिक हाई मंथिक रास हैपेंस इन द ड्यूरिंग सीजन ड्यूरिंग सीजन ड्यूरिंग सीजन ड्यूरिंग सीजन वन कैन ऑफ टाइम ऑफ द ईयर व्हिच इज लाइक Everything becomes white, like the grass, like the so much. Or Purnima, Purnima. In Purnima, in Purnima, Krishna is the grass. Har Purnima, Har Purnima. Har Purnima. Every Purnima, Krishna is the grass. Uh, so every day, actually, he does the rasa. This is called nitras in the seventh kunj. The nitras. So many rasas. But I was telling about the. This raka purnima. This occasion happens. This one specially. This occasion of the moon sometimes. So the example is given. Krishna himself is saying, "This is my vow." Krishna says. Thus, leave Shmatiradka. Means those who not serve Shri Mataraj, those who don't serve, and want to attain me completely, Krishna says, their efforts are useless. Just like a person who wants to see the full moon in the other day, other than Purnima, it's not possible. If you want to see the full moon, you have to see on the Purnima day. To the same way, you have to take Shadam Shmataratka feet to be able to relish Krishna completely without taking Shadam Shmataratka. You cannot relish. Prema Madhurya of Krishna. Sundarada Rasa Nandi explains. Sundarada Rasa Sudhanini. Mahadas, you know, like some tiki overlaps in the other tiki. Sometimes that I can, I can explain more. I didn't get it. So this look of Radha Rasudanidi quoted here in the Bajna Rahas. So beautiful, this look, very beautiful. Three. Those who give up the service of Shmataranka, an effort to get the association of Krishna, they are just like someone who wants to see the full moon without being in the Purnima day. Mahaprabhu Vishnu Bhagavad Gita ki hi 
It's just like they are got the ocean, but cannot even take one drop of this ocean. Meaning that that's the speciality of this look. I can't kniss to the feet of Shmantarad. Rajavasi singing the Kirtan. Some verses of Raskan. Very beautiful. I found something in the earthly form of Rasa, Shri Krishna. Sorry. Chaitanya Chaitanya explains what I need to do. Later, I'm going to listen back. Eighth chapter. Exo? Which one? A hundred? A hundred? Where? A hundred? A hundred and exo? I can just have a teach look. It's been about Shumaras, Shamaras. Mm-hmm. 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 What is the meaning of Shamaras? One seven zero. Dalila 8th chapter 170 Meaning of Shemaras Shringaras Conjugal mood Shringaras is called Shemaras this is something from Sahita Darpan. Sahita Darpan. Is it the song of Bhakti Vinod Thakur? Krishna is called all the Vedas say that the Krishna is the prophet of the maid servants of Shumatarat. I'm oh, sorry, Krishna is the maid servant of Shumatarat. So in the Prema it becomes opposite. So in the Prema is the whirlpool, whirlpool of Prem.
भोग पूर्व प्रेम द हाइस्ट इज ऑफ प्रेम दिस एपेंस कृष्ण है दमन कृष्ण बिकम द सर्न ऑफ श्रीमत रैन दिस इज सो ब्यूटीफुल So explaining the the words of the prem of Radha Krishna, our Acharya explained beautiful lila. Many times I have told this lila. I don't know if you have listened or not. Maybe you forgot. Once what happened? In Vrindavan. Krishna was with Shmatala. And some special kunja. And they both were very loved, Radha and Govinda. Completely immersed in their lake of their love. Just like lover and loved. Are enjoying this love and so like this and in Govinda, you're in this kunja, absorbed, completely intoxicated in bilasaras, this meeting, they are kissing each other, hugging each other, completely immersed in prem ras. So they are only looking to each other. They are not seeing anything else. So she must not go seeing Krishna. In Krishna, seeing the face of Shmatran. Both of their eyes. They was they were licking, licking the form of each other with their eyes. Just like sometimes we lick something in the prashad. Because the prashad, we lick. Just like we we lick the chavan prash. Not the chavan prash. You have to lick the chavan prash. So the same way. The lover and beloved. With their eyes, they were licking the face of each other with their eyes, and the beauty of each other licking with their eyes. Lady means to lick. Aha! It's beauty of the form. After some time, in the heart, in the heart of Shmatiradka, some wave of bhav came. It is called the wave of the dinata, like the wave of the humility. It's like there are waves in the ocean. Sometimes big waves come, sometimes small waves, and sometimes. The ocean becomes calm. Then again, they come. So according to Rasa Shasta, it's called Bhava Sandhi, Bhava Sandhi, Bhava Sandhi, Bhava Utpatti. It's all describes like how this Bhava rise, how they. Come, come! How they merge to each other like two waves merge. So the Rasa Shastra explains. So first, Bhava Utpatti means the how the wave arise, the wave wave of Bhava arise. This is called Bhava Utpatti. So this Bhava is coming to heart. This is called Bhava Utpatti. Then sak. Bhav sabulla. Then the bhav sabulla. 
When one bhava like overrides the other one, like jumps the other one. For example, maybe you sing if you sit in the bank out in the beach. In the beach, you understand what I'm saying. Sometimes the ocean becomes calm, then starts a wind, and then the waves begin. That one, one wave is coming, and behind another wave comes faster than the front one and like overrides the like jumps the other one and continues or brings the other one together. It's called Bhava Sabulla. Then Bhav Sandhi. Sandhi means like friend together. So one wave is coming and meet another wave. So like one wave is coming from front and from behind another another one comes and they meet each other. So it's called Bhav Sandhi. So Bhav Pati, Bhav Saballa, Bhav Sandhi, Sandhi and another Another is Bhav Santi. So one is Sandhi, and another one the junction of the two. Another Santi is when become calm, <coughs> peaceful mind. So if you sit on the beach, you see this. It's Bhavat Pati, Bhava Saballa, Bhava Sandhi, Bhava Santi. This is the last vichar. As the Shastra explained. So, Radha and Govinda, they're in this very confidential, secluded concha. And all these waves of bhavas, they were going on there. And the Priya and Priya Ju, means the lover and beloved, they were immersed in this ocean of bliss. And not just some time, some, some wave of humility came to Shemata Radka. So, a wave of humility. The waves of humbleness. The waves of humbleness. Radha very humble. She told Govinda. Krishna has never asked anything from you. But. I've never asked anything from you, but today I want you to, to give me something. Sorry. So Krishna was there, blinking, and the tears of Krishna look like a blossom lotus flower. Like for example, the lotus flower blossoms, and suddenly. Some wave comes and this flower becomes like immersed in the water. So the same way. Listening to this from Shamatanarka. From the lotus eyes of Krishna. He started crying. So this was like drowning the lotus flower of the eyes of Krishna. So Krishna very humble, he said, Radhi, why are you saying like this? Whatever you have to ask, just ask. I can give you. And if you say that I never gave you anything, if I listen to this, my, I feel so much pain. What is the difference between you and me? This is yours or this is mine. This doesn't exist in the realm of love. What is in the realm of love? Everything which is yours is mine, like this is mine. Is yours. So in the Premarajami's realm of love, there's not this sense of I and mine, like a mine and yours. Everything is for Krishna, everything is for Shmatrad. Because actually, there are one Tata. The only one form, but it manifests into forms only to rarely pastimes. 
Radha Krishna é a única tatu. According to Tata Vichara, there is no difference between Shakti and Shakti. Krishna is the Purna Shakti. Sorry, Krishna is the complete Shakti Man, the possessor of all the potency in Shamatha Radhika is the potency of Krishna. Krishna is called Shakti Man. Shamatha Radhika is called Shakti. That's right. There's no difference between Shakti and Shakti Man. This is the Tata Vichara. What is Radha? That is Krishna. What is Krishna? That is Radha. So the only one actually is the Tata Vichara. Just like the fire and the heat of the fire, they are always together. You cannot, you cannot separate both. So, always the potency is with the possessor of the potency. Just sometimes manifested the potency, sometimes unmanifested. Murta and Murta. Murta means the potency is sometimes manifested, and Amurta is sometimes not manifested. So use this word, Murta and Amurta. So that's what he my beloved. I never ask anything from you. But today, in my heart, I want to ask you something. Listening to this, the heart of Krishna melts up. And from his lotus eyes, his eyes were drenched in tears, just like a lotus flower being taken by waves. So his eyes were covered with tears. His heart melted. Then Krishna says, Radhe. Don't use these words. Don't say like this. What is mine is yours. What is yours is mine. There's no difference between what is mine and what is yours. It is love. Prem. <coughs> What Radha just said, hey Govind, whatever you say, I want to, one thing from you, what? Radha just said, you love me, it's very nice. In Vrindavan, it's Vrindavan Adham. Okay, worship me as like the queen of Vrindavan. I want this. All this Harikata. There's a book of Jiva Goswami explaining all this. The name of the book is Radha Madhav Utsav. Very good. Just saying a little bit. Shivaji himself telling this to Parvati actually. This Harikata from the book. Radha Madhav Utsav is a book from Jiva Goswami Parvati. Very beautiful. I'm just presenting a little bit of this kata. So then Krishna himself, he did the Abhishek of Vishmatratka is like the queen. Krishna said, okay. Krishna said, okay, I'll announce. But from now on, from now on, you'll be the queen of Vrindavan. The Vrindavan next should be Ishwari of Vrindavan. 
Kom zo wel over in Davan, ik ben Krishna. Yeah, even if they have a shaking, like, coração, like, bathing in the water, like the, the ceremony of being the queen of Vrindavan. In many Puranas are this Kata, and Jiva Goswami, he also explained this in his book. Okay. Krishna himself. It's like a king. He's a... Raja Bishek means the Corazon de Him, like the coronation, like the, the ceremony where the king becomes a king. You know, like Param Chandra, they took the water from the seven oceans for this. They also took the earth of all the Tirtas, Param Chandra. And speaking the Veda mantras, they also did the Abhishek of Param Chandra. Also, the kings are invited as well. Great kings also come, gather up. And in front of everyone, the king is for the first time put the crown. You know, so many rules for the how the king becomes the king, the ceremony for that. So, in the same way, Krishna in this assembly actually was the assembly of the Sakis. Lalita Vishaka and others, they were there in front of all the Sakis and also. The Piriyanarma Sakas were also invited, invited. Not all the Sakas, only the Piriyanarma Sakas were invited. Thanks to Bhavan Shridham. All these Sakas, they are called Piriyanarma Sakas. They are very, very best friends of Krishna. Intimate. They are Piriyanarma Sakas. So they... Queen of Vrindavan. It's very beautiful. Those who know Alankar Shastra, those who know Alankar Shastra, if they read this book of Jugo Swami, they immerse in the ocean of bliss. Because so many, like, um, the, 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 how it's written is so much uh, with ornaments and very beautiful. So now Shumati Radka, she is Raja, Raja Rajeshwari Vrindavaneshwari. So this is announced. Just like when they give the Jai. Vrindavaneshwari is Mati Radharani. We are seeing Vrindavaneshwari. Everybody says, but we don't know the reason behind. So we say Vrindavaneshwari. Raja Rajeshwari Vrindavaneshwari is Shemati Radha, the queen of Vrindavan, the controller of Vrindavan. We say, but we don't think about what is the reason behind. Okay. So, to relish the Madurela, Ras, Jogamaya, arranges everything. So, to nourish this Lila, what happens? One day. Lalita Vishak and all the Sakis. We are discussing something. How Krishna himself? He is Shmati Radka, the queen of Vrindavana, the Raja Rajeshri Vrindavana, the super controller of Vrindavana, the controller of the king, everything. Like the controller of the kingdom, you know, controller of Vrindavana. Then Lalita said, this is just a matter of words. Let's see in the practical if this is going on or not. Lalita said, if I tell you, okay, you became king. This means you became the king? Really? Just speaking, you became king. This means you became king. Raja Sakti. If some part becomes the king, it means also the power of the king, the strength, like I was saying. Okay, if I say, you are the king. But to have the Raja Sakti, like the power, just the title, your king. <clears throat> Not from title only. So they are discussing this in the Saki assembly. Oh, Krishna announced that you are now the controller of Vrindavan, the controller of the kingdom, but do you really have the Raj Shakti, this potency? Like in the practical way? It's power. 
because a king he has the army, for example, ministers, also has like court. Everybody follows his orders. Try to see if this is also who you, who are your ministers? She asked. Lalita asked. What is your wealth? You need to have at least some police or something like that. Do you have something, some police? Do you have something like this or only saying, okay, you are the Vrindavaneshwari? Sumatra said, oh, this is true. So, they talk to Krishna, Krishna. Where are our ministers? I just announced that she is the Vrindavaneshwari and Jirajishwari and give bathe with her with the five ingredients, milk, yogurt, everything. Whatever you did, you announced her as like a queen, but Krishna said, tell me, you guys tell me then. You can decide who will be the minister, who will be the prime minister, who will be the, you know, you can, you can decide the post of ministers, okay? Minister of uh, advisor, minister of uh, external affairs, many kinds of ministers. Okay. And it is very clever. So, okay. We'll present you the list. So, they wrote all the list. Radja Raja Rajeshwari, Supreme Controller of Vrindavana and um, She's the topmost king of all the kings uh, and supreme controller of Vrindavana. Who did the list? The Sakis, uh, Sakis made the list. So the first name in the list was Nemir Shmatarak. And then after that, who was the first minister? Who will be? Who is the prime, prime minister? Lalita Devi name came. Okay. Who is the advisor minister? All the Astasakis, they were in the cabinet, like means the most close and important posts with Astasakis. So all these Astasakis became cabinet ministers. And all the Sakis. Huh? Uh, they, all the, the, the Sakis, they were in the parliament. The parliament. But no, not even one name of a Saka there. Okay, you took the post very nicely, huh? But you give some post to the Sakas, Krishna said. Okay. Okay, let's give some post to Subhan Sridham. Maybe like a sweeper. They can... It's necessary to have some sweeper in the kingdom, no? Who oh, queen? Who oh, queen? Sweep. Must have some sweeper. It's necessary. Okay. Krishna, give to Krishna. Which post to Krishna? Which post? Huh? Krishna is the inspector. Inspector. And for the Sakas, very low posts, like sweepers and these things, to clean. And also clean the floor of the office. This kind of job to the sweepers. So Krishna, inspect, inspector for Krishna. So Krishna, inspector. Police inspector for Krishna. Detective. Huh? Head of the police was Krishna. Head of police. Okay, very nice. 
Mm. So next time is very happy we got the highest posts. And after that, Madhama and Subal, they are very clever, they also nothing less. They talked to Krishna, Krishna is so simple. So you see, they, they gave nice posts only to them. They took the bad, best posts. They gave to us all the sweeper posts only to us. Jigari. So, if you say something, so Subhashidam said, let's see some faults in these mantras, in these ministers, and let's make them go down. Like, like, then let's make again. Okay, Shmanta can be the, ki- the the queen. Okay, no problem. But these ministers, not even one minister post to us. So we have to find some fault in them and make them come out from the post and we get this post. Krishna said, okay. Madhumanga says, look, let's do one thing. How to make them fall off the post of ministry that's arranged? Then we can get this post of minister. Then maybe we can get the post in cabinet or something. Let's do something with the prime minister. Let's do some complaint with the prime minister. What? Sorry. That he, she stole the fruit of Krishna. Let's make a complaint with the prime minister saying that the Krishna fruit was stolen. Fruit was stolen. Was stolen. Let's open a case to see what is this fruit. How to get it back. So Madhumanga and all the suckers, they wrote a petition. Understand? In the complaint this, they gave this letter to Raja Rajesh Shri Vrindavan and in this letter was written, this petition. Our inspector of police, his fruit was stolen. So I have to see who took this. I have to make a case. So this was discussed between the ministers. And the police inspector, his flute was stolen. So he lost, or somebody took. What is it? So Lalita Devi, she stood up then and said, she's the Prime Minister, no? It's very sad news. It's a sad news. That a piece of bamboo was stolen from our police inspector. And all this great petition is for a piece of bamboo. And all the thing now I have to do to find a piece of bamboo. So many bamboos everywhere. Why just cut the bamboo and make another one? Somebody goes for some minister asking some petition just for a piece of bamboo lost. And also in the parliament, everybody was laughing and clapping for Lalita Devi. Yeah, look at this. Krishakadevi said. That's why. Krishna is unqualified to be the inspector. Why? He cannot even protect his own flute. What work can he do? This, the flute is a piece of a bamboo only. And if he cannot protect even that, what is his job? How can he do his work? He's unqualified. He's unqualified to the post of police inspector. That's why. Also, give some, that gives some post of the sweeper to him, low post. 
He's not qualified to be inspector of police. All the sack is also laughing and clapping hands. It's true, true, true. What to speak of promotion? Let's put him on a bad, like low post. What to speak of promotion to him, to Krishna? Low post. All the sack is thinking, oh, we came to make a better post for us, and they could change the game and give Krishna Ivan. Not even for the suspected post. He also has low post now, Krishna. So they give the, some sake the post of police inspector. This is that administration. So Krishna and Krishna Sakas. They have no role in the administration. No one works in the administration. They can only sweep and clean the floor with water. No need intelligence, nothing need for that. Just sweep and pass up on the show. So all the sack is laughing and also Shumati Radhika was sitting listening. She was the Raja Rajeshwari Vrindavan, like the controller, the queen of Vrindavan, the king of the queens. Krishna came very humble. Hey Raja Rajeshwari, king of all the kings. Okay, very nice. No problem. My my foot was stolen, really. But first, give me the foot back. Then whatever we see about like, like to punish, punish us or anything. But first, I find the foot. This is true. Yes. Whatever was lost, first we have to to find it. No, what is it? Take it back. No, first already. Later we will kick it, like chastise them or whatever, like change the post. But first need to find what is stolen. Whatever it was the complaint about. So Shmatetka agreed with Krishna. This is true. Let's first find the flute. What is the flute? Okay. So where is the flute? Which kind of music? This called the... So Induleka, Varanamba Saki was sent to search for the flute. So they called the Krishna and all the Sakas. Okay, what is the flute? What happened? Like trying to investigate the problem. But the suckers are ready? Clever. So they are saying, oh, it was here, someone took, like they... But they found, searching, but not finding anywhere. Okay. And this minister, the inspector, like this, it's like somebody, minister, who is like searching things. And he's like searching. Like investigation, yeah, investigation. Where is that thing? Looking for the thing. So he did, the person who was doing this in Dulekana didn't find. So they were called also in the assembly of the ministers. They call the assembly and then okay. Who are the suspects for this for the stel, uh, stealing of the food? Is somebody like skilled? The police ask many questions, investigating who killed. And she has some accusations. You know who are the suspects, maybe they are put in the jail and all. So Madhavang was very clever. So he said, if you order me, I can, I can do something. What? Madhavang said, 
my suspect is someone is someone inside the cabinet ministers somebody of the main ministers is stole so he did a direct allegation acusação direta so madame angela made the direct allegation to someone from the minister some some minister that he had stolen the flute so he know she know in this case so investigate on that she must have said okay this is true if he's saying let's okay let's see if this food is with the ministers no this is okay every every second must like a do like this with a cloth to check if uh, the food is not there to shake to shake a cloth because the, Madame Mangla was doing these allegations, so all of the sack is like shaking their cloth to show that food was not with them. Who was the Prime Minister? Lalita. The Prime Minister also may must show. show also. So Lalita shook, shook her cloth. So Bob said, no, not like this. Also your hair, also you have to shake your hair. Well, he said, if you did like this, and the foot came on the floor. From where it came? It was like in the knot, like in the hair of the little So the Prime Minister took the foot, had stolen. Oh, the sack is uh, in shock. Actually, Madame was very clever. And somehow, she was sitting from behind. He went and put the foot in the middle of her hair. Nobody saw. So now, fall directly from her, of her hair. It's not some accusation. They directly caught the caught the thief like red hand so all the circus clapping hands so you have to take her out of this post not even one of you can are qualified to stay in the post of minister because there was a, a, a robbing amongst you not even one of you can stay in the post Alita Devi was crying in front of everyone this happened to her she was like a red-handed caught so, what well, is said, hey, Rani, I'm telling the truth. I didn't steal the, the food, I didn't steal it. Certainly some saka put this food in my, my hair. But just saying it's not enough, I have to prove. How this happened? In the plenar massacres were seen. We are also sitting here. You are also sitting here. So you came from your house. Also, we came from our house. Like we are sitting behind you, not sitting in front of you. Sitting behind, so to, I, I don't know who told you. I guess I'm sorry. So, so Lalita was crying. Okay, she could not have the, the prime minister post, but at least she had some like her respect and honor. She was feeling like so much ashamed because of that. So I said, okay. 
Vou deixar cadê de toda a parcela. Só pra quê? Ok, so Shmatrat can we'll see the everyone promise touching the feet of the Queen of Shmat Queen of Rendavana, touching her feet and promising it didn't do. So later Devi touched the feet of Shmatrat and said I didn't steal the fruit of Krishna. Okay, this sakas are so much the loss. Radha, uh, Krishna, catch the feet of Shmatrat and say also, promise. Now what to do? You cannot lie in this case. Krishna took the hold of feet of Shmatarat and said, Hey Radhi. I, you know, I I put the flute of my friends in the in the in the hair of Malita. But he said like many he like I put in the also I did not put this sentence came in two meanings. But then what happened? Hare Krishna they sat on the throne and they are of Radha Krishna. So, Madhu Mangla and the Sakas, they are saying, ah, we are sitting behind that time. Sakas was saying, we are sitting behind because we don't have no post. So, like this, so many leaders of Radha Govinda. Jai Radha Madhava Utsava. So, like this, there are many kinds of sweet pastimes in the conjugal love. This is called Shamras. Shamras means Shangaras. So, Shamatra can herself make Krishna drink this Shamras, this ras of conjugal love. So Krishna is called Sham. So Shmatinat is called Shama. Okay, Krishna's name is Sham. We can understand. But why the name of Shmatinat is Shama? Tomorrow we'll explain this. Very beautiful. <laughs> Shasta says, Why the name of Shmatirat is Siam? This look explains. From her limbs, the smell is just like the blossom, of, her smell defeats the fragrance of the blossom lotus flower. And she's always effulgent. And in the summertime, 
Okay. So in the summertime, her body is fresh, a little bit cold, and in the winter time, her body is hot, warm. Winter time, her body is warm, and and when the earth has the touch of her lotus feet all the flowers all the flowers they blossom even the bakul pushpa this flower bakul no, not bakul, the banjul this flower the flower of kadamba is big but another kind of kadamba is small more flowers very beautiful and very, very delicious fragrance well. so this fragrance which comes from her mouth even defeats the fragrance of the bakul flower in English, bakul is called star flower. It's white and very small. Very small, very beautiful. Mm. It's so beautiful and small and, and so so good smell. Krishna himself becomes completely captivated. And after the flower comes some fruit and smells more. By eating this, you become also intoxicated. And it's so tasty. And put in your mouth for seven days, you'll be having the good smell in your, in your mouth. For seven days. So all the flowers for Takoji. The topmost dear flower to Radha Govinda is the Bakul Pushpa. The star flower in English. Very small, small. Small, small. It's like a star. It's small. You can make garlands. It's so nice smell. So it's called Shama. That's why her name is Shama. Because all these reasons. Okay. In the winter, she's warm, and in the, in the cold. In the summer, she's fresh, like her body. And when you touch the earth, this flower manifests. So that's why her name is Shema. Not even other, another Saki doesn't have this name, Shema. It's only for Shema Teran. Krishna is Sam, okay, I understand. Because he has like that color, Sam, the color of bluish, you know. But if you go to the feminine, Shama. But Shama doesn't mean because she wanted to black, you know, because another mean. Actually, only her is Shama, it's not feminine of Shama, it's like only Shmatadika is Shama. It looks like for feminine, okay, but her name especially is Shama. Krishna, 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 Krishna,